on there. The truth. Okay. Okay, I lied. I'm not really dying and I'm not ill. Are you for real? I've spent months thinking that you were dying. Preparing myself for... I stole money so you could have the perfect wedding. Is that what it's about, money? No. Well, why did you do it, Max? I, I never, ever wanted it to go this far. But James promised that you wouldn't go to prison, even though... Oh, he, knew, he knew as well. He was preserving your defence. Does Minnie know her mum's not dying? Yes, of course. I mean, I would, I would never let her think that. What do you think I am? A twisted little liar. I, I told her that it was just pretend. Oh, that's all right then, because you've just made a five-year-old girl part of it. I was sick of you. I can't even look at you. Oh, you have got some nerve. Oh, Grace, let me... Explain. What kind of sick lie are you going to pull out of the bag this time? I never meant to hurt anyone. I confided in you, Maxine. I thought you were the only person who could possibly understand what I was going through after that crash. I have never felt so betrayed. Excuse us. Oh, just, just wait, guys. Please, just give me a chance. You've had your chances. How could you lie about this? It's unforgivable. You need professional help. If I were you, I would get out of my sight. Or I'm going to be organising your actual funeral. Only this time, I'll make sure you're there in spirit only. <laughs> That's right, Maxine. Run away! You're finished! No, thank God, Sienna, I can't find Damon anywhere. You're not the only one who had their life ruined. You were helping me! I was doing damage limitation. And look where it got me. If Brody took off, I don't know what he must be thinking. You could go and see Damon explain everything. Stop pinning this on other people. You need to step up and take responsibility for what you've done and the lives that you've wrecked. You need to find Damon and make it right. <laughs> Not that you deserve anyone's forgiveness. Damon, please hear me out. You deserve an explanation. Guilty conscience finally caught up with you. I need help. I know this now. Look, I'm not well. Seriously? No, no, sorry. I don't mean physically. I am mentally ill and I have been for months. So why didn't you do something about it? I saw Dr Levi and he referred me for counselling, but I didn't go. I was too ashamed to face up to what I'd done. I've been going up the wall trying to figure out why you've done this. Letting me think you'd slip away, knowing what I went through with my mum. The thought of losing you was what started it all. Oh, so it's my fault. No, 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 look, of course it isn't. But remember New Year's Eve, okay? I thought that we had finished. Then I ended up in hospital and you were there. You said you would care for me and I was so happy that I didn't want to lose the feeling of security, of being loved. I told you I loved you every single day because I thought it'd be the last time I'd say it to you. I didn't realise I was being played. You weren't. Every time that someone has loved me, I've lost them. I lose everyone and I couldn't risk losing you as well. I know that this is hard to understand, but if you thought I was dying, then you wouldn't leave me. I devoted my whole life to you, Max. And Minnie. I thought we had a future together for however long we had. This wasn't planned, OK? Believe me. D Dr Levi, Sienna, they both told me to stop. But you didn't stop. You carried on lying. And for that, I'm looking at being sent down. I did all of this to keep us together. You already had me, Max. Now you've ruined it all.